basically moved to China when I was 22 years old. I was teaching there, started suffering with really bad bouts of upset stomach, which is very unusual for me. I also noticed uncomfortable bloating and uh, wind, which isn't great for a girl, but uh, I just thought I got a bit fat as well with the upset, st with a blown out stomach, but um, basically was normal as I am now, my everyday self, but I'd get really ill, sort of 24 hour, really uncomfortable pain and, and diarrhea. So I would go to the doctors while I was there. Um, the doctor there told me that I just had a viral infection like most foreigners and just sent me away and told me to eat a bland diet. I went back to him maybe four or five times. During that time, I started to um, see blood in my stools, um, just on the tissue, bright red blood, only small, not huge amounts of blood, nothing to be alarmed by, but it started to become more frequent every time I went to the toilet. So when I returned from China at the end of 2005, I decided to go to my GP. I was really worried about going to the doctors. I was really embarrassed about the, the procedure. I thought it would be really uncomfortable. A man looking up my bum was going to be the worst thing in the world, but actually, women, we have far worse problems. A smear test is so much worse. I went along to see the specialist. He was quite offhand with me because of my age and said, oh, I get girls like you in every day complaining of like diarrhea and bloating and wind and uh, it's probably a hemorrhoid. But um, he said, well, I'll examine you. And so he um, examined me and my mum went out of the room and his manner changed instantly as soon as he examined me. Um, he literally went from, said that he'd found a lot of blood um, and that was very unusual in a girl of my age and then they brought my mum back into the room, but his manner was so different, I knew something was wrong. I was then told that, that I had bowel cancer. It's just like the worst thing that you can possibly hear at the age of 24, and I kind of in shock, really. I thought that if you have bowel cancer, that you would, or any form of cancer, that you would feel really ill, that you would be tired, or there'd be some really noticeable symptoms. My grandfather had died of bowel cancer, but I didn't know any of the symptoms. I think as a young woman in your 20s, you're drawn attention to cervical cancer, breast cancer, you're told to check yourself regularly, but I didn't even have one idea of what one symptom of bowel cancer was. It's kind of a strange process. They make you sick to make you better. So uh, lost, lost two stone, had a big incision from just under my ribs um, straight down. Um, and then I had also a ileostomy, which is a bag put on my stomach temporarily as well. So that's quite a hard thing for a 24 year old girl to wake up and find on her stomach and have to deal with them for next three months as well in my recovery. I was chained to the toilet for, for about 12, 12 months. Literally, I'd go maybe 20 to 30 times a day. My dad would put, my dad gave me a television in the bathroom and a pillow at night, because I'd have to get up. I literally sometimes would just sleep on the toilet once they'd reversed the, the ileostomy. If you get to bowel cancer in time, if you treat your symptoms early, then you can simply be, it can be an operation. It's not an easy operation, but you can make an absolutely full recovery. Bowel cancer can be beaten. Um, I am living proof that you can make a complete and full recovery.